Hmm. It looks like one of those mutant superweeds. I would pull it if I were you, Diego. Mutant superweed? But it's so cute. By the way, I'm Diego, and this is Tribal. And today's topic on Frog TV is the mutant superweed. So what caused it to mutate? We did, by introducing GMO-engineered crops into their world. GMO stands for Granny's Mountain Oysters. No, genetically modified organisms. Since the discovery of DNA, scientists found that they could make genetic modifications by splicing genes from one organism into another. Genes from jellyfish could make orchids or even rabbits glow in the dark. They made monster salmon that grow three times faster. They have also genetically modified food crops. What's the recipe? They add the DNA from bacteria into seed to create a plant that is resistant to the chemical herbicide Roundup. Our audience at home might know Roundup as the weed killer that will obliterate anything you spray it on. Now you can plant a field of GMO corn that's resistant to herbicides and drench it with Roundup to kill all the weeds, leaving the corn plants untouched. They called it Roundup Ready Corn. Amazing! Spraying the same chemical several times a season, year after year, killed all weeds except for the odd mutant that had the genetic machinery to withstand the herbicide. The surviving weeds share their genes, and before long, a new super weed is born. Nature created its own Roundup Ready plant. Some of these super weeds have multiple resistances to several herbicides, so they are almost impossible to kill using chemicals. What about the glow-in-the-dark rabbits or the monster salmon? It's in nature's hands now, Diego. Nobody knows what will happen with these genetically modified creatures when they are unleashed on the environment. I guess we should have pulled that weed when we had the chance. Now for our review. Some food and chemical corporations have been splicing genes into the crops that make up much of the planet's food supply. In doing so, they inadvertently created a monstrous weed that's immune to herbicides. Who knows what will become of their other genetic experiments. For Frog TV, this has been Diego and Tribal.